So first of all, I'm really, really hoping you can hear those the baby chatter in the background. Um, <laughs> I went to start this video and I was like, oh my gosh, she's so cute chatting. I don't know if I want to talk because I don't want her to stop. <laughs> um, but, okay, so I'm trying to do these videos based on like your guys' uh, asks and desires and, you know, things that you guys bring up that get my mind going that then make me want to come on here and talk and leave a video about it. And I do a lot of videos in my car. Um, and, and I have since the beginning, right? And, um... <laughs> I swear, it's like when she hears me talking, she she turns on the water works. It's like, because I'm, I'm here and not paying attention to her, but like, if, if she was just in her seat, like just two seconds ago when I was silent, little miss, happy, chatty, like, just loving life. Um, so we'll see if I get through this one, right? Um, but I do want to start leaving videos. I don't know, like, I, I enjoy leaving them around the house and something like that stuff like that, um, I want to maybe start doing some lives where I can, like, interact with you guys and, and answer some questions, like, in real time, um, I have heard, that's awesome, that license plate is one faith, F-A-I-T-H-H, -H. um, I love, I love that idea, I have heard that it's kind of difficult, though, to answer questions in real time, because of how fast they pop up, which is just here, no matter what platform. Um, so unless I have somebody there with me to help read the questions and kind of like, you know, snapshot them as they come in. Um, but in the meantime, just keep, you know, posting and letting me know what you guys want to talk about. And I think and there's another one, a green, God, I love this, the green car and the license plate is good luck, G-O-O-D-L-U-K. And this is how the universe talks to me, right? Like, and, and I'm a words of affirmation person. I'm a quality time and words of affirmation person. And the words of affirmation like that mean a lot to me. Like, hearing, seeing, reading words like that, just, that's all the confirmation of, you know, I'm on the right path. And doing this stuff in confirmation, you know, besides you guys, like, you know, that this is be on here talking about so anyways I'll get around to it because you guys know I ramble a lot um but you guys have asked me for an update in my life <laughs> and how things are going and I did kind of forget that a large part of my my YouTube channel on here is being open and being vulnerable and sharing with you guys everything that I'm going through and sometimes I'm like but people don't want to hear about that And then, um, nine Aussie. Aussie, like the dog or the place. I love Australia. Um, so, what I was saying, um, I think she's gonna talk the whole video. Um, is, uh, you know, a large part of this has been me sharing my spiritual awakening, my journey, right? Like, I think that's the description of my channel. And I can get very philosophical. That's my NDE. I love it. I thrive on it. I need that mental stimulation. Um, that, like, the infinite possibilities in this world and just what is our purpose, what, you know, I love all that stuff. I love deep diving into that. But sometimes then I forget about updating you guys on things in my life, and these seem to be the videos that get the most reviews, um, re most views. The last one, um, one of the last ones that I posted, like, really, really vulnerable was the breaking up with my, my mom, my parents. Um, that one so far has gotten the most views, um, being open and being vulnerable. So, I wanted to kind of let you guys know where I'm at, um, what's going on, especially with that, and especially
especially with yesterday being Mother's Day, and I kind of think I put on that brave face. I do that a lot. That's still a, a childhood trauma, I think, thing of just putting on the brave face always, like everything's okay, when sometimes it's not. And um, so, briefly, I wanted to let you guys know that the universe has been encouraging me to dream more, to daydream more, to dream up my dream home, to dream up my dream job, to dream up my dream partner friendships, relationships, romantic, you know, that kind of stuff, and I've been slacking, um, I've been kind of letting myself fall a little bit more into the fear, um, going back to financial again, so I did allow myself to sit in that, um, I might have talked about that, about, so, absolute worst comes to worst, in my mind, like, is not having enough money to pay my rent. So it's sitting in that and going, okay, well, you do have options. You could move in with your parents. Would you want to know that would suck? Um, I don't know if my body could, like, actually handle it. Um, or, you know, going into some sort of, like, a women's shelter, um, homeless shelter kind of a thing. Um, so allowing myself to sit in those thoughts. I'm 
this next one. Um, so I did meet somebody else who seems normal. I'll get I'll get to the other part, the mother thing here in a second. Um, he seems normal. Oh, oh yeah. And I was also talking to another guy who I had a really good like hour and a half phone conversation, hour and twenty minute phone conversation with, and he offered to cook me dinner and um, also wanted a massage. Which then it was kind of like it was actually him asking for a neck rub, and then me being like, "Well, what's in it for me?" And then him being like, "Well, I'll cook you dinner," and I'm like, hmm, "Dinner does sound nice," but then I'm like, you know, just the there was some little red flags that I was ignoring. Um, that I even acknowledged to my friend Kate and told her about. Um, but I was like, it'd be nice to have somebody cook me dinner. And then um, he ghosted me. And I 100% I know it was the universe being like, girl, really, like, it's not worth it just to have somebody cook you dinner. To sit there with somebody that you're not, like, you are already recognizing red flags about. Um, like, even somebody who's some things that you said that I wouldn't necessarily want to be friends with. Um, and, uh, so I 100% recognize it was the universe being like, girl, yes, listen to those red flags. No, do not hang out with this person. This is a learning experience. Um, if you want somebody to cook your dinner, put that out there and somebody will cook you dinner. So, um, then talking to a guy, like I said, um, when I say that, it's not a bad thing by any means. I can use some normalcy as well. Um, maybe somebody to expand my group of friends to do things. I was talking about with Kate. Like, we would love to get a group of people together to go axe throwing, um, escape rooms. That kind of stuff is just more fun, in my opinion, when you have a big group of people that work together. A, a bigger group. Um, and I've done it before with um, my work. Uh, with Os and my team, and we did it for my birthday actually, and it was it was amazing. See, I, that was an amazing birthday present to myself. Um, and I say that because sometimes I forget to celebrate myself. So, um, Mother's Day yesterday. Let's see if I can get to this here. Was rough. I have three amazing kids who love me so much and want to spend their time with me and we're so happy to get to spend, because my older two were with Dave, their dad, they were so happy to get to spend that extra day with me. My son was already plotting, I don't know, he said something about how he was asking God to create a stone, something to do with colors that was going to block daddy from being able to come and pick them up so that he could stay with me, him and Callie could stay with me. And I was like, oh, my heart. And it's just little things like that that I'm like, okay, I acknowledge 100% that these are three beings who absolutely unconditionally love me and want to spend so much time with me. And that's what I want in my life. But I might have digressed and still... I knew my mom wouldn't want to get together on Mother's Day. She doesn't like to on the day um, necessarily, uh, especially going out, um, which is a boundary of mine right now, is I won't um, hang out with my parents in either of our houses alone because of my dad. I don't feel safe. Um, you know, he could go off the handle and start yelling and screaming in my face at any minute, and that scares me, and I don't want to be around that. Um, so I did extend and I, every ounce of me was like, should I do this? Should I not do this? Oh my gosh. Um, and I'll, I'll share the, the encouragement to not go backwards from my, uh, from the universe when I get home. Um, and, uh, I did decide to extend a future invite for the next week and then I have my kids. Um, of meeting at the park by their house and then going and getting something to eat and then I could drop her off at home after and um, she just flat out responded with that they're busy she told me what their plans are Saturday and Sunday and why she couldn't make it there was no oh but how about if we do it you know in two weekends when you have the kids um, and immediately triggered by that me 
of, okay, well, that's, you know, pretty crappy that, like, hey, I can't do it this weekend, but I know you have the kids every other weekend, so how about we plan it out for this, you know, weekend when I am free. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go do a little postpartum group and I will come back on here and finish this.